I'm Dawn Beatty. I'm from West Cumbria and I've been fostering for four years. My name is Ian. I have been a foster carer for 22, 23 years now. I'm Rosemary Crudson Price, foster carer in Egremont. I've uh, been fostering for a, quite a number of years now. So our very first little one we had, he was one when he came to us and recently, so he's now five, when we last saw him, he turned to his mum and said, Mum, that's Nick and Dawn, and they kept me safe until Mum and Mummy were ready. Oh. Still in touch with one young lady that stayed with us who is now uh, in the process of starting her own family. Uh, so that, that was a really nice moment when she chose to, uh, to tell us as one of the first people she told that she was pregnant. Uh, that was lovely. We noticed when one of the children couldn't read and if we go out for a meal, couldn't read the menu. And it's like six months down the line, they can read the menu. And y you know, you get something from that because the school and yourselves have helped them to get that far and they get a buzz from it as well because they're like, I can read. We've been asked to be godparents by two families that we've looked after now. Um, and that, I, I feel like that shows that they appreciate what we've done with these little ones that we have as well. So there's appreciation from everybody and it's so rewarding. Weirdly, the, the times that are the best memories are not always when the children are living with you, but sometimes it's after they've moved on, maybe they've grown up, left home, they've moved on to different placements and they stay in touch with you. And sometimes it's the things that they say when they stay in touch. The support actually is incredible. Um, the support groups are so helpful because you're all in the same position, you're all doing the same job. You're with people who understand the situation without you having to explain everything to them and who you can maybe talk more freely about the kind of experiences you have. I suppose a lot of people at my age would be looking at retirement, but I just want to help the children. There's a demand for people and it can be demanding what you do, but it's very rewarding.